where we stay in the city of Zaragoza and we walk around, we split into groups um, and of like three to four people. And we go and do some type of task. We interview people on the street. Um, we go to different museums and uh, it's all focused on one topic. And then we come back later and we um, collect all of our stuff together and submit it in a document, um, our findings and what we found that day. And then there's also the type where we take a bus, all the whole school, and we go to some near-ish city and that relates to Zaragoza and we do some activity there like once we went to a vineyard and we cut grapes and then we like stomped on them and made wine uh we didn't drink it most of us and then we um also like went to Navarra recently which is in another like comunidad autónoma and we learned about where Zaragoza gets our drinking water from and then so okay my personal favorite is probably Zaragoza Romana which is where we visited different parts. This was one in Zaragoza. Sorry, obviously. But we um, split into groups and then we went to different museums in parts of Zaragoza where we still had things from when the Roman Empire was in control of Spain. Like we went to a um, museum and you literally go underground and like into the ruins in the museum and you clearly like see how Zaragoza was back in the day. And it's amazing because we got to see... Um, how small the city was back then and how much it's grown. So that was my favorite. Gracias, Laila. Gus? Um, I think that my favorite was probably the when we went to the vineyard. So we went to a Mm -hmm. vineyard. We all took a bus the whole grade or the whole school. And we went to a nearby Pueblo, which is like a little town. And we got to pick a bunch of grapes from this big vineyard and and like stomp on it and make wine, which um, Laila talked about. And I thought that was really fun because I got to connect with connect with my peers while we had a fun time. And then we also got to see um, how they also made wine behind the scenes. And I thought that was a really I thought that was a really fun experience. And 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 how how do you think you benefit from uh, learning this way? Because it's, it's different from, you know, what we usually do at our home schools, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I've benefited because it gives us a chance to see Zaragoza and a more place-based like context and we can go out into the city and instead of learning about the history of Spain, for example, we can see it with our own eyes. And because Spain's history is so rich with all the, with everything that's happened over so many years, it's been great to see um, um, the city and the different monuments and churches and ruins that it still has. So I think that's it. It's a great way to see the city we actually live in and to kind of get to know it better. Mm -hmm. Leila, what do you think? Well, I think that I agree with everything that Gus said. Um, I also think that the fieldwork allows us to see Zaragoza and Spain more as locals than as tourists. Like we have gone to spots in Zaragoza that I never would have gone to um, besides doing fieldwork. Like, Uh, we had one where we all had to different, oh, sorry, where we all had to visit different neighborhoods in Zaragoza. And that really allowed me to see how different people live just in like one city, I guess, and like outside of just the center where I would spend most of my time um, and see again how it's changed. Like I said, like see the history with my own eyes.